back now to our panel. So it's not that the Black Lives Matter movement has been entirely incendiary, but there have been enough examples that you have to question whether there's been a double standard applied by those who are very quick to paint the entire Tea Party with a racist brush, given the comments of a few. Let me go to you, Robert. Um, well, I feel like rhetoric is uh, really the mother of this whole uh, time and period that we're in. And we have to move from that to a place of reconciliation and really exercising the intelligence of listening. She brought up a major point. These are young people who feel as though they have no voice and no one is hearing them. Mm -hmm. When we listen, I think any, any party has the responsibility only to listen and to listen with respect. And I believe when we begin to really exercise that measure of respect, and as leaders on a local level, when we begin to combat the rhetoric with truth, as a pastor, as a bishop, we have the responsibility of speaking truth. You, you listen re with respect, but the, the speech needs to be respectful in order to be heard. 